weather. Are you saying that Hayward is behind this? No, behind it, no. But he certainly got in on it after my rescue. So this lookalike, she locked you up somewhere, she comes to town, she takes over your life and, and, and fools us all? Not all of you, right, David? You honestly think I'm crazy? You know, watching you say goodbye to Dixie was... Bizarre. Surreal. I was gonna say touching. <laughs> Are you okay? Never been better. You? I'm glad it felt right. Me too. Did I, did I miss something? Uh, no, not much. Just a sort of long overdue impromptu farewell to Dixie. I've been thinking about her a lot, and I realized I'd never let her go, so... We, uh, you know, we talked about it a little bit, some people, and got to relive some really, really good memories. Oh, that sounds beautiful. It was. be there if you would just listen to me that's what we're going to do right now but i'd like you to have a seat please not a word out of your lying face do you understand me you may have been able to manipulate jane but you will never manipulate me you let her say what she has to say you hear me the last thing i want to do is upset erica now okay? oh please i can't believe you can stand there and say that to me just with a straight face. ignore him please sit down and start from the beginning <laughs> As I told you, 
I was on my way to our wedding rehearsal. And then all of a sudden, everything went dark. And, and the next thing I knew, I, I woke up and, and I was tied to a chair and I was blindfolded. In St. Barts? No. Somehow, somehow they managed to get me to Pine Valley. But I didn't know that at the time. And, and, and then this, this voice spoke to me. It was distorted, but it sounded very deep, like a man's voice. She must have used some kind of a device. Did you get a look at her? No, not, not at first. Not, not for a long while. At first, I actually thought it might be Crystal, because she brought me food from Crystal's restaurant, and because Crystal had been panting after you for, for months and months. But she insisted she wasn't, and when I finally came face to face with her, I mean, you can't imagine what that was like. It was like looking at myself in a mirror, only it wasn't. And I found out from Ben. OK, who, who's, who's Ben again? Ben was her enforcer. He was a very sweet man. A very sweet man was holding you captive. The only reason he was doing it was out of guilt. But that doesn't matter right now. Jane had had a very difficult life, and and her way of changing things was, was to become me. Look, my point is that after the rescue, she made her intentions clear. And those were? To become Erica Kane. Okay, let's go back for just a second. Let's go back to the rescue. Now, we only went to that quarry because you sent us a message. Yes, that's right. Jane was expecting me to do that. She wanted you to come. She had planned from the very beginning that you would rescue her from the rubble, not me. How, how could you not see that it wasn't me? Erica, you have been acting not at all like yourself since the kidnapping. Huh? Of course not, because it wasn't me. It was Jane. So how did you get them to let you go? I finally got Jane to see reason. I convinced her, that, well, uh, them, actually, because Ben, Ben was there. Ben was helping me. I convinced Jane that she needed to take back her life, provided that I would not turn her in, and I had never seen where I really was. And I made her promise that she would get back her old life, her old face. Take back her face, not my face. And I thought it was really important that she own that, that she'd be proud of herself, that she owned that. I think we all should. I know this sounds outrageous. It was outrageous. But please believe me. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Man. I'm really drunk. What the hell? You're probably disappointed in me, Mom. <laughs> probably. Hell, I know you're disappointed in me. I'm real sorry I don't have my act together. My wife, excuse me, my ex-wife, she left me for a chick. All the more reason to get wasted, huh? <sighs> well, this is a new one. No sad eyes, no shaking the head, no nothing. Well, it wouldn't matter anyway. There's no amount of chocolate chip cookies that could fix it. I do miss you, Mom. Sure, it's nice dreaming about you like this. So if you're really here, the last time I saw you, I thought I was dying. Am I dying? Because sometimes I feel like it would just be better if it was all just over. No more noise and 
Mama will nothing. You guys, I'm fine, really. I'm just Come I'm, on, I'm, I'm gonna wait you. for Griff. No, I'm gonna wait for Griff. I'll wait over here. I'll All right, well, the invitation's open, okay? Thank you. Okay. Your brother stands out if there's something wrong with him. Mm. He's not going to. Now, uh, now, hold on. I, I, just real quick, I wanted to say, you know, if, if the PI thing, if you decide to, you know, um... <laughs> move to the left? <laughs> Switch gears. Um, I, I see another possible career move for you. Oh, I can't wait. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm tamale thinking of sous chef. No, wait. No. Squirrel Let whisper. me think of the title. Hold on. Spinach I can't control. concentrate when you're talking. Gathering Overseer. What? <laughs> What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't like the sound good. of that at all. That's Professional not... master of ceremonies. Yes! Now that... I love it. That's... I, that yes. I like. I can yes, go I'm with that. I'm gonna tell you, the way you were today, you know? You were you were sweet and you were vulnerable, but you were funny and... You... It was perfect. You were perfect. Hey, Tata. This one's a keeper. You better hang on to this one. She is a keeper. I intend to. Uh, come on, get over here. This is no. ridiculous. Come on, like look at this. I got a fruit here. with your name on it. <laughs> no, come on. No, 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 no. Honestly, I'm good. I'm good. But, but, Kara is right. She's right. Tad is, uh, he's the master at keeping things light. Oh, shucks, guys. Come on, no, stop. it's true. It's true. Griffin and I could actually, we could actually use that. Yeah, our relationship's been kind of intense. Even if I told you what I know about Project Orpheus, you would still refuse to see any good in what David's doing. Maybe that's because Hayward doesn't do any good. Thank you for proving my point. Look, you, you weren't there when Greenlee came back, okay? She, she, was, she was different. She was fundamentally different. She was broken. And the worst part about it is she didn't even know it. Hayward did that to her. I'm sure it was horrible. And you're right, I wasn't there. But aside from my sister, Dr. H has done more for me than anyone else. He's taught me invaluable lessons in and outside of the operating room. The man is a genius. I'm not denying that. Then let him do his work in Even peace. Even if it means hurting people, because that happens to be David Hayward's special. What if he's helping people? What if what he's doing is bigger than you, or me, or, or even Erica Kane? Tell me what David is doing, Griffin. People's lives are on the line here. Exactly. Which is why it's way too important to let you take it down.